Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Oracle Database. Myself Athar. In today's session, I will show you why and how we need to rebuild global indexes. As we all know that what is index and why we use index. So basically, I will show you how to rebuild global indexes. So first, we need to connect with database. Just connect with a user known as Scott and check the table information. So now I am going to create a table from an existing table known as employee. So first we need to check about the information of this table. So these are the contents like employee number, employee name, job, MGR, hire date, salary, comp and department number. So now I am going to create a table uh, by range. Okay. So create table and the name is employee2 and uh, I am going to create partition also by range and the range is like uh, uh, it's a higher date. Okay higher date and by a interval so an interval is like uh, interval of one day so automatically it will create a partitions in like a interval of one day and uh, partition p1 values less than to date and just date is nineteen seventy date month and year as select asterisk from employee table table is created now we have a view known as user tab partitions. First, just check that table is created or not. So this is the table employee to. Okay. So now we have a view known as user tab partition. Partition. So select table underscore name this one and also the partition name. from so see here on the employee table there is partitions okay are created now I am going to uh, create an index on this particular employee 2 EMP2 table okay so create index and name is name one okay on employee two and index is on employee name and index is type of index is global index is created now we have a view known as user underscore indexes 
so select index name status from user underscore indexes so see here the name one index is showing valid now i am going to uh, so just i'll show you so i am going to drop a partition like i'm going to drop partitions like this partitions okay or anyone so alter table employee to and uh, drop partition suppose i'm going to drop a partition is like uh, this one okay so dropped now now if i will check about the information of indexes see here so this is shows unusable so that's the big reason in global index if you will drop a partition of a table so that particular index will be unusable so that's the reason we have to like rebuild the indexes so now alter index name one rebuild now just check the status of indexes see here this is valid now you can do the same uh, like you can drop a uh, partitions and uh, let me show you one thing alter table employee to like if you want to drop partitions and uh, you don't want to run execute a rebuild command so how you can do this just it's a very simple so alter table table name is employee to and uh, just drop the partitions so drop partition and the partition name is like uh, suppose i'm going to drop this one and just mention syntax known as update global indexes so now you will see that index is still valid like i just added a query known as update global indexes so automatically index are rebuilt or you can say it is updated the particular index if you will drop a table you can say partition of a table it will automatically the indexes are updated so that is the scenario we have to rebuild a particular indexes thank you for the session hope you like this video